So you've got to restart your computer, even shut it down, and then you boot it up again. And there's this Windows 10 anniversary update. You install it, and all of a sudden everything is crap again. Things are sluggish, games are crashing. You don't know what to do, but that's all right because this guide is going to make Windows 10 great again. <laughs> Welcome back to Tech Your City. This is Brian coming to you guys today with a full optimization guide for Windows 10 Anniversary Update. Now we'll get straight on into it and I'll be on the bottom right hand corner here guiding you guys through the whole process. But the first thing first, left, left click on that search bar, type in services and then open that desktop app. And we're going to go through here and make sure it's organized by name. So that way you guys can follow me and exactly disable the services that I'm disabling. And remember as well, this is how I uh, optimize my Windows 10 for me. So other people will do it differently, but it seems to be a very popular thing when I update it and people want to copy my settings. So be sure to just go through here, copy it all, and then enjoy a fast and snappy Windows. So right click on the first one here, Auto Time Zone Updater. We just want to disable that um, unless you're traveling internationally with your PC, which I doubt you are with your desktop, <laughs> then you want to probably disable this. Just one of those services you don't need. Go down to connected devices platform service, right click that and then click stop and disable. Get rid of that one too. And then right beneath that is connected user experiences and telemetry. So right click that again, disabled and stop and we'll just apply. So. And then underneath that, we want to go down to, I believe it's called distributed link tracking client, right? Click that properties, same old jazz here, disabled, stop, bang, see you later. No more data that I don't need to give out unnecessarily. Uh, this one here as well, this is on manual now, so it shouldn't be starting up, but it used to be have some controversy surrounding it being a keylogger. That is the DM WAP push SCV. So just click apply and click OK. And then I want you guys to go down to now radio management service. So this one, I like to disable this as well as it has no bearing for what I do and don't need. So that's it for services. Let's move on now to the next step. So the next step we're going to do here is go down this left bar here and type in accessibility. And then we go to other ease of access settings and there should be one here, play animations in Windows. I want you to turn this off and if you are on a real sluggish computer, you can also turn off show Windows background. Uh, that's if you're on like a real old computer and you just made it to Windows 10, but that's up to you. Uh, go up to narrator here, make sure they're both turned off. Magnifier, I like to turn everything off here as well and that's about it for this setting. So the next setting we're going to go through here is just simply right click on the desktop and go to display settings here. And once you've clicked on that, it should open up a heap of tabs here and we want to go down to apps and features. And now within this tab, there is going to be a lot of apps that we just don't really don't need. I mean, 3D builder. Okay. I don't need it. So I'm just going to get rid of that. Uh, we can also keep moving down and we can go down to alarms and clocks app installer. Don't need it. And you're just going through, you guys can feel free to uninstall the uh, exact programs that I'm uninstalling here. These are just programs I just don't see myself. So moving down along apps and features. Now I'll put a list in the description below of all the apps and features that I actually uninstalled from here as my screen went black when I was doing this. But moving on now to default apps, just make sure that you've got the music player that you want selected. Winamp is the one of choice I use. And also for video player, I use VLC media player. But the main one you want to make sure is Windows Photo Viewer is default on your Photo Viewer app. I don't know why it's saying choose default there, but it should be Windows Photo Viewer. But moving down into notifications and and uh, actions here, we can actually take off these here and make sure that you can turn off the ones that you don't need. So for me, I like to get notifications from apps, for instance, Creative Cloud. I like to know when the actual program is updated or not. Uh, and so in the next one we can go down to now is power and sleep. You guys can copy me if you want screen. I like to turn the screen off after 20 minutes and also the plugged in PC. I like to never put it to sleep. I also like to, uh, another thing I like to do here is I like to have my hard drive. So in advanced power settings, I like to have it that my hard drives never turn off. And I found, so you just type in zero there. I find that that actually has never had a hard drive fail on me. So that's maybe something that you guys want to copy as well for your power and sleep settings. Moving down to storage now, you don't really have to touch anything there. Offline maps, uh, pretty important if you guys want to sort of free up a little bit of room. I like to delete all maps here 
And then I also like to turn off automatically update maps. Moving down to tablet mode, I like to click off. And I also like to change that to use desktop mode and uh, also just leave that on that because it should always be using desktop mode. Now multitasking, we can click onto this tab here and arrange windows. We can leave all those on. Generally, I haven't had a problem with those multitasking settings. They're not such a big deal though you can change it as you like it. Projecting to this PC, I don't want to project to my PC and vice versa. I don't want to project my PC to other people because I've already got streaming apps to do that. So the next part of this guide, we're just going to right click on the desktop here and click on personalize. And then we're going to move into here and then go to colors. Now you can turn this off here, make start taskbar and action center transparent. I like to turn it off better for performance, uh, minuscule amount. And also I like to change it to orange here because that's just the way my theme is. Uh, the dark theme, I generally don't like that at all. I like to leave it on light though. Your mileage may vary. And then we move on to lock screen here. I don't like to get those fun facts and I don't like to show the lock screen background picture. Also go down to uh, Cortana lock screen settings. Just make sure those are turned off. Yeah. Turn all those off and, um, you know, and you can turn that off as well. History view. So make sure all those settings are turned off and then we can move down to uh, start here as well. And you want to make sure show occasionally show suggestions on start is off and then as well as uh, show recently opened items and jump list. So that's how I like to have it. And then moving down to taskbar, this is pretty important as well. So uh, another thing you can do here is have it on the bottom and never combine the taskbar as well. And then if we go down here to the notifications area, then we can go to turn system icons on or off. And now I generally like to turn the action center off because that was updated in the anniversary update and it sort of comes on there and it's pretty annoying in that bottom right corner. I'm kind of not used to it and I'll show you guys exactly what I mean. So here it is here and we just uh, turn that instead of having it on, we can just turn it off and it'll disappear here from the bottom right. So I'll get back to the bottom right there for you guys and we'll move on to the next setting. Now, another thing on multiple displays I like to do is instead of having show taskbar buttons, I like to have it on all taskbars and also I like to have never selected. So our second taskbar on our second monitor will also display all our applications and stuff. So it's very easy. It's an easier multitaskers tweak. So now moving along with the guide, we go down here, type in Windows Update, and we can go to Windows Update Settings. Left click that, and also we can move down here and go to Advanced Options in Windows Update. Advanced Options, and you can make sure just that's checked. Uh, if you want to defer updates as well, that's something you can do if you don't like want, say for instance, Windows 10 Anniversary Update. But another important thing here is to go to uh, privacy settings, sorry, uh, choose how updates are delivered and make sure this one is not on this tab here. So you don't want it on PCs on my local network and PCs on the internet. You don't want to be uh, having your computer as like a hub for sending updates to other people. That'll just kill your network, especially if you've got uh, sluggish upload speeds like I do at the moment. So check that, make sure that's just checked on or you can just turn it off altogether. Uh, and then back here on the main tab, we can go to Windows Defender and just make sure that I like to turn this notifications uh, area off. Uh, if you want to turn off real-time protection, you can, but it'll just turn itself back on anyway. And that's about it for that tab there. So now's an actually very important setting. With Windows Anniversary Update, they enabled a thing called Game DVR, Digital Video Recording, by default. And this is causing a lot of games to crash. I've had CSGO crash on me. I've had Dota 2 crash on me. And essentially we want to disable this or just turn it off. Now, if you've got the Xbox app and you really need that, then you can just type in here Xbox, open it up and then disable it from the settings tab. Though if you're like me and you just want to completely disable it altogether, you can just type in here PowerShell and then right click on that and click run as administrator. And then what you want to do after this, is then type in here, and I'll put this in the description below. You just control paste this. So I'll put it in the description below for you guys. Just copy that, drop it in here. It's get hyphen app X package star Xbox app star slash remove hyphen app X package and hit enter and your Xbox app should be gone. Game DVR with it should be gone as well. So the next thing we want to do is Cortana. Now we actually can't disable Cortana from the start bar like we used to where we could just turn it off. We actually have to go into a thing called group policy editor 
And now if you guys are on Windows 10 Home, you will actually have to do this via the registry edit. And if you guys want that, I'll put a setting in the description below, just a quick reg hack file. You can download that, double click it, and it'll disable it for you home users. But if you're on Windows Pro or uh, Enterprise, for instance, you can then just open up that group policy editor like I've got here, open it up. Uh, and then we can just go to administrative templates. So we go to administrative templates here, move along now to, I think it's Windows components. So we go to Windows components, click on that tab and go all the way down to search. And then we're going to go to double click, allow Cortana, double click that, and then click disabled and click apply, click okay, allow Cortana above lock screen. I like to disable that as well. So those two files disabled, we can then move on now to the next setting. So you like optimizing drives? I like optimizing drives, except the problem is I don't like it when Windows chooses it for me. So what we wanna do here is go back down to Start menu, click on Optimize there, and we want to um, optimize hard drive. I think this should be like, that should be the one, defragment and optimize your hard drive. And left click on that, open that up, and then we go to Change Settings. So see, Schedule Optimization is on, and it's usually on weekly. But I don't like this, so I'm going to go click change settings here, and I'm going to uh, uncheck that run on a schedule, click OK, and then I'm click, going to click close, and that's done. <laughs> going to click. Okay, for this next part, we're going to go down here and type advanced system settings, and once that comes up, you should be able to open up the advanced system settings tab. So just left click on that and then move on here to performance, type in their settings or left click that and then just go to uh, and just change it to how you want it. I like to take all these settings off here, the fades and the animations and also the show uh, shadows under the windows and under the mouse pointer. So I like to take those off and then also here in the startup and recoveries, I like to time to display list of operating systems. I like to take that off as well and then click OK. We can then move over to system protection. I actually like to turn this off. You guys, your mileage may vary, but I find I never really need it. If I'm going to do a fresh install of Windows, I'll just reinstall the whole damn OS. So uh, moving on now to remote, make sure those settings are taken off as well. Okay, so moving along here, now we can go back to this search bar here and type in privacy and then click that privacy settings there and just going along and make sure all this stuff is kind of turned off. I like to have it all turned off. So we're moving through off, off, off. And I'm pretty sure this will bring it over from your previous uh, installation of Windows. So if you followed my previous Windows 10 optimization guide, there should be some other little ones though that pop up like notifications, turn that off and no, we don't want you to get to know me because you're a computer. And the last time you got to know Windows, you uh, did some like Nazi thing, wasn't it? So uh, let's apps access my contacts, turn that off as well in contacts, and then moving down into calendar, leave that off, call history off, email off, just everything off, 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 off. We're just turning this whole thing off. Now, another important one down here in feedback and diagnostic settings is to have this on never, and make sure that's on basic. So we're sending Microsoft a little bit of information. We just want to send as least amount as possible, as well as, as uh, freeing up things. So background apps, another important tab here. So we go to background apps, and I want you guys to, you guys can turn off the ones that I'm turning off as well. Uh, so I pretty much leave them all off except for Microsoft Edge, because if I'm playing YouTube music through my browser, I want to leave that on. Uh, so now another one we can, so all these are off except for Microsoft Edge. So let's move on now to the next tab. So some last minute tweaks that I'll go through with you guys is to right click on the clock on the bottom right corner here and adjust date and time. And then make sure that this is set to off, set time automatically. Now after you've done that, you can go to the bottom left corner here, type in MS config and open that up. And then we go to boot here, make sure no GUI boot is selected and then go to startup and we can open task manager here and make sure those programs that you don't want loaded up, for instance, uh, Realtek HD audio manager, I like to disable that. And also the um, Windows Defender notification item, I like to disable that as well. So I like to have those two disabled and then I click apply, okay, and we'll exit without a restart because we're still doing the guide. And now the final thing you may wish to go to is a website called ninite.com, N-I-N-I-T-E.com. And I'll put the link in the description below for you guys. But this site allows you to get all those little apps that you would need on a fresh install 
all in one package for you to download for your own personal use. So we'll go to this website and we'll try and bring up, say for instance, all the ones that I'd usually use. So for web browsers, Firefox, that's one that I actually use because it's got some great add-ons. Messaging Skype, I use that. And then for media, I use VLC and also I use a Winamp as well. So I'd like to click on those two. And then over here, you can go to, um, for instance, uh, file sharing, Qubit Torrent's really good as well. And AVAS is also a good antivirus, although Windows Defender I find is doing a pretty good job. And then lastly, you can get Steam from here as well. And you can just pick all the ones that you uh, otherwise would need. I like WinRAR as well. So if I wanted to get that whole package, I would then click all those and then I'd get your 99 and that'll get me an installer with all those select programs that I need. Anyway, that's about it for me today, guys. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel for more tech news and reviews. And also, if there's other settings or very popular tweaks that you like to do, then be sure to drop a comment in the comment section below. And, I'll, and if they're popular enough, then I'll add them to the description. And I'll catch you guys in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye. So you guys want to bloopers, didn't you? So for this one, we're just going to... NVIDIA. This is the NVIDIA service. You have to stop it. Otherwise, it just causes you to freeze. So, now that we've disabled those settings, we can then click on us. Uh, ...needing in the future, so I'm just getting rid of them as well. So, being provided search, get rid of that. Now, we're moving on now to... Uh, Okay, so we disabled those settings, and now look at this. We've got a little twirly bird on the desktop here. <laughs> but it was the NVIDIA capture server. So for this bonus one, we're just going to right-click on these and unpin all this stuff that we just don't need from here. Films and TV, people, settings, camera, maps, Photoshop. I like that. I like Photoshop. So we just get all that, and then we just bring it down here. And then it should be pretty clean. Our start menu. Should be pretty clean. Look at that. Now it's time to edit the video. Look at all these files that I made. Woo!